Hey everyone, Chris Shogunki back with another toy review. And just to tell you, this is actually going to be my second video for today because I figured I'd do a toy review now. And it's going to be on the Figma Reaper from Overwatch. And this is actually my uh, <clears throat> second Overwatch figure. And my second Figma figure in general. The third being my being the Inkling Girl, but well, that's for another video. But anyway, I only have Tracer and Reaper because they're actually interesting characters. Mostly Reaper. He's just he's just badass. Now, while I really like this figure a lot, and I'm glad I picked him up, there are some things about him that kind that I have nitpicks with, but. Before I do that, let's go over let's go over his accessories. Now, as you can see, he has two shotgun holding hands, as well as the two shotguns that he has right now. He also comes with a Figma base that you plug into his back. He also comes with this effect piece for when he appears from the ground. If you want, you can just put it under his feet. And it will look like that he just appeared out of out of the floor or something like that. He also comes with blast effects for his shotguns. And they plug into a little hole. Ow. And yeah, these are actually pretty sharp for plastic. They're sharp. And they plug in like that. Of course, be careful because again, these are sharp and they can hurt. Like so. But I'll just take them out. And I, he also comes with a little, uh, a, uh, a P, an extended an extension for the uh, for the Figma base, but it's actually in the Figma bag, and it's that's in the Figma bag right now. But eh. and for alternate hands, he comes with. I mean, like I already told you, the shotgun holding hands. He also comes with fisted hands, and of course, by the way, these spikes are actually sharp as well, so be careful. But he comes with. Two fisted hands. <laughs> Oops. Two displayed open hands, and the claws are sharp as well. So again, be careful. Two smaller gripping hands that you can use to, like, if you want him to hold the, uh, like, a different type of weapon or something like that. And he also comes with the thumbs up hands, but it's more of the uh, that pose where he goes, the uh, you're dead type of pose. Or you can do it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Again, sharp, so be careful. But yeah, those are his accessories. And you know what? Let's just take him off the base and just give him his normal, normal fisted hands. Now to tell you. The uh, shotguns, once I put them in his hands, I am not going to take them out. Because that's what the hands are made for. And of course, if you saw, instead of a tree like the Figma Tracer, they have these little pegs that hold the hands in place. I'm guessing they didn't use the tree because they didn't want these things to break off. But, eh, oh well. Obviously, you can place them on the hands that you want to not use anymore. Alright, there we go. I apologize if it, this takes a little a bit while. If this takes a while, I mean. Okay, where's the... Uh, here we go. But again, because 
it has these things that you could that you could plug into the hands if you're not using them. Again, the most likely did that so because the tree would end up breaking the the spikes off his left hands. But yeah. Oops. Anyway, there he is. Doesn't look too bad. And again, the spikes on his arm here sharp, so be careful. But yeah, not a bad looking figure. Hey, it's not perfect, but it looks fine. Though the skin tone, I'm not really a fan of. If I remember in the game, the skin on his arms were a bit, a little bit darker. Okay, I'm okay. I'm guessing right now. That sounds very inappropriate I apologize but his skin color was a bit more darker than in the actual game than on the figure but oh well but yeah of course I do like the silver on the uh, boots some silver on the on the belt and patches and whatnot and a funny thing is Reaper has the shotgun shells on his belt and on his chest and yet he pulls his sh shotguns out of his body. That's weird and kind of funny, but yeah, not bad looking. Not bad. Though, for, though I'll just get into the first nitpick right now. The hood itself is kind of lame. I mean, it's not. It doesn't look bad, but it's pegged in, and when you turn the head. It doesn't look right. And also, without the hood, it looks like he has a long, stumpy neck or something. Yeah, the neck does. The neck looks horrible. But yeah, anyway, while we're at it, posability, the head can move side to side. It can't really move up and down, but if you remove the hood. It can move up that far, move not really down, and also there's a joint at the like a ball joint at the neck. You can move back and forth, side to side, but again, it looks terrible. Eh. Oh well, just put this back on. Now, one thing that I thought would be a problem was that were the uh, <clears throat> the uh, shoulder joints, because. I don't know if you can see that. Wait, actually, hold on a minute. Here we go. I got a flashlight here. You see, there's a ball peg that goes into the body. There's a hinge and a ball peg that goes in the arm. I thought that was going to be a problem, but actually, no, it wasn't. I mean, it is a bit finicky, but I mean, if you have it in the right position you can move the arm outward that far and you can also rotate it again though I can see why people find this joint not that good because of how finicky it is but it doesn't really bother me that much I mean I'll admit it would have been better if it was just a normal ball peg that goes into the arm and a ball hinge that goes into the bicep but oh well anyway he has a bicep swivel right here I think it's about to pop off. He has an elbow joint that can bend in that far. And there's also a ball joint at the forearm that you can bend it a whole lot more. It's kind of like a double jointed elbow. And that's, that's impressive. He has a bit of a ball joint at the wrist. There's also a hinge that can move up and down. Though if you rotate, you can move it side to side. And of course it rotates. He has a torso movement. He has a torso joint that can fully rotate. You can move forward that far, move that back that far. You can kind of go side to side, mostly to the uh, left, the right. Actually, no, never mind. He could go. Never mind. And this is where my second nitpick comes in: the hip articulation. Before we do that, he also has Figma joints for his trench coat. They can move it. I like that you can spread it apart. So yeah, but um, 
it's gonna be hard to see, but because of how black this, because of how, because of the color black that they used. But you can see these little sculpting pieces here. It limits the hip articulation. I mean, you can move the legs forward, but these, the sculpting here gets in the way. So yeah, I mean, they can move out, okay, but moving them forward. Yeah, that's a bit of a problem. Because this, because of this piece getting in the way, that's it's gonna be a problem trying to move his legs. And as you can see, these little straps here are uh, separate. It might be an annoyance for some, but yeah, I can understand. But I can understand why. But yeah, the hip articulation is a is a bit limited, but it's not bad. There's a slight thigh swivel, if you want to call it. It has a single jointed knee that bends in more than 90 and if you want you can rotate the knee though it's kind of limited this knee pad actually bends so that's something and his feet can rotate a little bit but because of the sculpting it's hindered you can move the feet up you can move the feet back he has an ankle pivot mostly inward but again it's hindered by the sculpting and there's a slight toe bend, but again, because of this, is hindered. So yeah, the, while this guy is very articulated, he is a bit limited in the legs, in the arms, not really much. The head is limited unless you remove the hood, but like I said, I'm not really a fan of the hood, of the design that they made with this figure. I mean, if I'm, if, so I actually am thinking of an idea, I could just, because this is pegged in, but I'm thinking of actually, um, what was it, um, oh yeah, oops, I'm thinking of cutting and sanding down these three pegs and just gluing the hood to the head itself. Oh, uh, now when, now when will I do that? I am, I don't know, but, eh, oh well. <clears throat> But again, not a bad figure. It's just if it weren't for those nip picks with the hood and the you know limited leg possibility, it would have been better. But all in all, it's still a great figure. And it's just I'm I'm glad I finally have a Reaper. He's one of my favorite Overwatch characters, and he's he's actually my he actually was my main in when I played Overwatch. I don't have the game anymore, but. Eh. Still a great figure, and pick him up if you want, if you can find him. I actually got this, I actually I got this guy at at Silicon Valley Comic Con. If you saw my haul video, but anyway, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all next time.